Hi guys, it's Sarah here. Um, welcome to a quick 20 minute yoga flow all about the core. But we'll also be working a bit of our upper body as well. So you're only going to need your mat today, so I shall see you then. So, big toes together, knees apart, just caterpillar your fingers forward, gently hug the backs of the arm, upper arms under, and relax your head, your neck. Mm, start to connect to the breath. Inhaling wide and full, exhaling nice and long to empty out your lungs. I want you to keep focusing on that exhalation and keep focusing on extending the breath for as long as you can. Maybe you'll notice as you do so that it does actually help you engage to your pelvic floor and your abdominals. So just try and keep that in mind as we move through the flow. That exhalation is your best friend, your best buddy. All right, take one more breath here. Let's bring it up and just take it through a little warm up on our hands and knees. So hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And then all we're going to do is just take little circles coming forwards and backwards. So exhaling right butt cheek to right heel, swing it round to the left and then inhale, come slightly forward over the hands and then we'll start to warm up the uh, back body and the upper body at the same time so move nice and smoothly move with your breath taking an inhale as you come forward exhale as you come back we've got one more in this direction and then we're going to swap so simply swing it back and then take it the other way now as you're doing this i want you to really push uh, the floor away with your finger pads and Hug the backs of your arms, your upper arms, towards one another. That's this action you're going to need in downward dog, in our planks, a little bit later. So it's worth starting um, the activation now. All right, come back into tabletop and let's take a few cat cows. So on your inhale, pull the chest through, take the tailbone up and back. And then exhale, curl the tailbone down, round the spine, drop the head. And then inhale, back into cow. Exhale. Again, practice here, really emptying the lungs out as you exhale. See how much connection you can make to the whole of your core. All right, last one. Exhale round. Inhale, come back to tabletop. Stretch the left leg out. Reach the right arm um, out and lift up into tiger. Squeeze the right hip in here. Roll the um, inner thigh of your left leg up. So to keep your pelvis nice and smooth. Pull the front ribs in. Navel to spine. And then as you exhale... Three little knee to elbows, inhaling, coming out, exhale, inhale, one last time, exhale, inhale here, and then re-land, let's take it straight to the other side, so left leg back, roll the inner thigh up, and then left arm up and high, exhale, inhale, Exhale, knee to elbow, inhale. Keep squeezing that left hip in this time. Come on out. And re-land. Open 
and the knees. Stick toes together. Let's find child's pose on our next exhale and then inhale, just roll it forward onto your belly. Three floating cobras, just to get the spine nice and warmed up. So fingers away from the shoulders, press the elbows back, press the toenails, pubic bone down as you inhale the chest up. And exhale, reach the chest forward as you come down. Two more times, inhale up. Exhale it down, one more time, inhale up. Exhale down, okay, lovely. So bring the elbows in under the shoulders, palms in front of you, spread the fingers again, coming into a sphinx pose. So from here we're going to come into a sphinx roll, a little version of a plank, which I absolutely love. Start to press down through the toes and the forearms. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, I want you to make a cat back, so round in the back as much as you can, as though you've got a string pulling the top of your lower back upwards, and the space between your shoulder blades upwards, so you're rounding, you're creating space. Draw the pubic bone towards the navel, hug the front ribs in, and breathe. Okay, from there, keep the connection with your core. Slide the left hand towards the right elbow. Swing the left foot so it's in line with your left knee and come up into a side plank version. All right, so with this, I want you to use your knee to, and your elbow to push your waist up towards the ceiling. You keep the arm up here or you can take the top arm up and over your core. All right, slide the arm back, sphinx roll, get yourself set up again, we're taking it to the other side, so take one more breath here, pubic bone towards the navel, and then we're sliding right hand in line with the left elbow, sliding the right foot in line with the knee, and pulling up, pulling up our underside waist, getting that connection, three breaths. Remember, play around with the top arm position. It's whatever feels good for you today. All right, slide the right hand back. Sphinx roll. Get it set up again because we're coming into forearm plank from here. So bear with me. We'll get a break in a moment. Curl the toes under. Keep the body shape and you're just straightening the legs. It's so important. Don't let your bums start to head towards the ceiling and then from there let's walk it forward into dolphin press the chest towards your thighs as you walk it forward still pull the pubic bone up towards the navel soften the front ribs into you so you feel a broadness in the back of your heart press the chest towards the thighs take a big inhale exhale inhale and then exhale push it up downward facing dog take a little pedal out you may want to change your arm position or hand position. Mm. Find your breath. All right, from there, inhale the right leg up high, roll that inner thigh up, and then exhale knee to nose three times. Inhale up and back. Exhale, knee to nose. Remember, get rid of all the air out of your exhale. Exhale, knee to nose, and then step it back, find a plank pose. So again, you're pushing the floor away, you're getting a little roundness in your back, curl the tailbone down, pull the hip points in and up. Roll the inner thighs up towards the ceiling, navel to the spine. From there, bring the left hand a little further forward from your shoulder, and then we're going to swing over to the right and come into a side plank. Now, if this is too much for you, simply walk the right foot halfway up. I want you to be able to feel that you can really push up and get a good engagement in your lower waist muscles. 
spin the tricep of the bottom arm towards the right side of your mat. You should feel a little shake there. All right, and then come back into plank. Take an inhale, exhale, downward facing dog. Take a breath here and we'll take that to the second side. So inhale, left leg up high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up and high. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale up and back. Last one, knee to nose. Find plank pose. And then when you feel happy, you've got it all set up, then walk the right hand slightly forward, spin to the left, choose your leg position to suit how you're feeling today. Five breaths in our side plank. You can stack the feet if you want to, and if you want an even harder version, you can lift up the top leg. I'm going to stay here. Okay, watch that bottom arm, make sure you're not locking out the arm, but you are switching on the upper arm by spiraling that tricep towards the left side of your mat this time. All right, come back to plank. Exhale, down facing dog. Whew, take a couple of breaths. And then lower the knees and spin yourself around. All right, so we're going to come into Dandasana. Now, this looks pretty simplistic as a pose, but believe me, if you do it properly, it's very effective for your core and your back. So I want you to bring your hands by your side. Palms are pressing into the earth. Again, get that spiraling action on the upper arm. It's a bit like you're turning or you're opening a jam jar outwards. From here, pull up the hip points. You'll feel your lower back lengthen. Spread through the toes, roll the inner thighs down, draw the front ribs softly in, slide the chin back a bit. And you're growing tall through the spine. So every exhale, I want you to hug in and every inhale, I want you to grow through your spine. Four more breaths. Three. Two. And one. Now that length I want you to keep for Navasana, which is going to be our next pose. So bend the feet. <coughs> Excuse me, bend the feet, come back onto your sit bones, but don't start collapsing. You want a nice V shape. Bring your hands behind your thighs just to start us off. Wait for an exhale, find your connection, hug in, and then you can float the feet off the floor. Spread the toes, big toes together, squeeze the legs together. All right, so I want you to keep your fingertips there just as a little guide. Plug the arm bones into the socket. Take an inhale. As you exhale, I want you to press the tops of the thighs towards your chest and the chest towards the tops of your thighs. And then inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze as evenly as you can. Inhale, release. And again. Think Dandasana. Keep the spine nice and long. And use your breath. All right, one more here. Keep that connection. Take the arms out. Take an inhale. As you exhale, straighten the legs. Full breath here. And then we're going to take it down into a hollow Navasana for three. Keep a flat torso so you don't want a loaf of bread cooking in the middle of your spine. So just draw the navel down and relax. Hug the knees in just for a moment. And then I'm going to come on up. So 
we're going to do a second set so I'm going to target the obliques a little bit more so same setup down Dasana and float the feet off the floor. And this one I want you to make a yogi gun. So uh, first fingers together and thumb, and then you interlace in the rest. Pull chest towards the thighs, thighs towards the chest. And then exhale, take the arms to one side, doesn't matter. Inhale, center. And then exhale, take it to the other side. Inhale, center. Keep squeezing the legs together, activate through the feet. We've got three more sets. And again, blow all the air out. So if it helps to breathe out through the mouth, that's absolutely fine. One more set after this. All right, hold it here. Plug the arm bones in. Take a full boat if you want to, and then lower it down. Hollow, 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 hollow. Draw that navel down. And this time, oh, let's see if we can get ourselves up. Take one more full boat. And Take the feet down, bring the arms behind you, fingers face forward or back, and you can turn them out slightly as well, depending on how your shoulders are feeling today. Take a lovely big inhale, as you exhale, press into the fingers, lift the hips, drive the knees forward, sit bones towards the back of the knees, squeeze the backs of the arms towards the back of your mat. <sighs> Little bit of back work, <laughs> glute work but a little bit of release for the front side of your body. Okay, come on down. I'm going to repeat that, or if you want, want to, we can take a reverse plank. Take an inhale, exhale. So same thing, except that your legs are straight, your feet are pressing into the floor. And come on down. Super duper. So we're going to come down onto the floor now. For a last little bit of work. And then we'll have a little relaxation at the end. So we're going to pick up the right leg. Suck the leg bone down into the socket. And then bring your hands around the thigh. Take an inhale here. Now you don't want to tuck pelvis okay you want everything to be nice and level so pubic bone level with your hips and then take an inhale as you exhale you're going to float the shoulder blades off the floor keeping everything nice and flat so you're not tucking the tailbone up every exhale connect to your core draw the navel down draw the hip points towards one another and inwards Okay, hold this here, plug the arm bones into the socket, stretch the left leg out, wait for an exhale, hover it up, inhale, come on down, up, exhale, inhale, down, three, and four, and five. Release, let's swap sides. So bring the left leg up and just let the leg bone sink into the socket, the top of the leg bone. And then hug the top of the shin. Take an inhale, make sure your pelvis is level. And then exhale, it's like there's a string just drawing your chest up, the back of your neck stays long. Your navel's hugging down. Your hips are drawing in, inwards and towards one another. Okay, stretch the right leg out. 
wait for an exhale, come on up. Inhale, come on down. Exhale up. Inhale down. So this one's strengthening the core, but it's also lengthening and stabilizing your hip flexor muscles. Got two more. Release it down. Well done. Last little bit. Bring both legs in up to the top. Mm. Take an inhale. As you exhale, we're going to take the right leg down a third. Inhale, pause. Exhale, another third. Inhale, pause. Exhale, final third. Inhale, pause. Exhale, lift it up. Take and change sides. So exhale, drop the left leg a third, inhale, pause, drop it down a second third, inhale, pause, and then a final third. Inhale, exhale, come on up. Now, if you want to step it up a gear, we're dropping both legs, otherwise stick to alternate. We've got two more sets. So inhale, exhale, one third, inhale here, exhale, second third, inhale. Exhale, final third, inhale, bring it all up, inhale, one more time, again, keep that flat belly if you can, drawing the navel down, and exhale it up, draw your knees into your chest, oh, release it out well done take your arms out to the side take an inhale and then exhale bump your hips slightly to the left drop your knees to the right nice twist let the belly move with your breath soften the shoulder blades into the floor mm. All right, take an inhale, come back. Shift the hips slightly to the right and drop your hips over to the left. All right, and I'm gonna come into Shavasana. So just straight the legs straight and I'm going to invite you to spend at least a couple of minutes here and if you want to spend longer that's absolutely fine. And just let your body become heavy. Your breath become wide and full. Giving your body a chance to wind down from that quick, but you know, you still work pretty hard.
stay here a bit longer, then just please ignore me now and stay as long as you like. Otherwise, start to gently bring some movement back into your body. If you want, you can take a full body stretch, inhaling, reaching the heels away from the fingers. And then exhaling, just relax it down. And then inhaling, pointing the toes, doing exactly the same thing, just getting more of a stretch in the front. And then exhale this time, lower the arms. Draw the knees in and roll over to your favorite side. Open your eyes if you haven't done so already. Bring yourself up. Well done, guys. Let's finish this one off by bringing our hands into Anjali Mudra. Let's take an inhale, reach up high. And exhale, press the air away. Draw it back, that energy to your heart. Well done.